And at that time, I didn't have a driver's license because of my poor eyes. Uh, and I told the vicar general uh, that I'd have to be in a city parish. And, of course, my first assignment was in a suburban parish. So for the first few months, I had to be driven around by a pastor's nephew to bring communion to the sick or do anything else. So that was the beginning. Oh, yeah, and I also forgot, for three days before I was ordained, the bishop died. And when I arrived in Richmond, he was in his casket, which I always said was the best bishop I ever met, and which also people said the bishop died because he knew he was going to ordain me. That began sort of a legend.